Hi everyone, this is Gleeza made with Glee. In today's video, I'm participating in the DIY Christmas Decor Upcycling Challenge hosted by Fanny from Creations by Favi and Michelle's Cozy Home. Our hostess has wanted us to upcycle something into Christmas decor and I'm going to use an empty iced tea container. We go through a lot of these containers of iced tea in my household. And I use these containers for many purposes. Storage, I don't always cover them. I just take the labels off sometimes. But I tend to uh, recover them if I'm doing them for like my craft room. I store paint brushes and a few of them in my uh, room. I store many different things. But for this particular uh, upcycle DIY, we're going to make some Christmas decor that it's you know either can be decor for yourself or you can make it as a gift for someone else so what we're gonna do of course is clean the inside of the can out just make sure not to get the outside wet when you're cleaning it it is cardboard it will fall apart just make sure you clean the inside completely I tend to like spray um, cleaner on or wet a rag and then you know like put it inside and clean it that way and then you're gonna need some fabric or scrapbook paper I am using leftover from a previous project I bought one fat quarter of this little red truck fabric from Walmart and I used part of it for a previous DIY which I will link above and this is what is left over um, actually just one smaller piece but I'm using this uh, rectangular piece. It's perfect size for this container and some Mod Podge to just cover the entire container. Now you guys all probably know how to use, uh, use Mod Podge or um, you know you can use Elmer's glue or whatever whatever glue of your choice and go ahead and stick that on and just be very careful you know that you roll out very smoothly so you don't have any wrinkles as you're attaching your fabric to the canister and um, try to trim any of those loose threads beforehand I had a couple that kept uh, pulling out and I didn't really want to do like a folded end because I didn't want to create any bulk onto my can but it, the Mod Podge does seal everything in so once it's nicely trim you should not have a problem and then for the bottom and the top we're gonna cut snip all the way around just to make sure that our folds are gonna fold in nice and flat and then we're gonna use of course Mod Podge to cover and connect and seal the bottom of our uh, canister and of course you're gonna do this to the other side you're gonna let your Mod Pod dry you're also gonna cover it and you're seeing me put one layer of Mod Podge on my canister here but if you're gonna use it in a kitchen or in a bathroom somewhere where it may get a splash of water or you want to clean it somehow I would recommend at least three coats of Mod Podge it definitely gives it a lot of durability that way and um, that's about it for covering the canister. You can leave it exactly the way it is and call it done. It's cute just the way it is, but we of course are going to add a little bit more touches to this. Really simple to customize this any way you guys like it. It's, uh, you know, your imagination and your decor. So, like, let's say you wanted lace, you could add some lace to it. You can put some burlap. I decided to go with, um the what are they called the garland ties the pine garland ties from the dollar tree that's what i'm gonna use on mine and here you can see it's completely dry nice you have a nice clear glossy not glossy but it's, a, it's it has a good surface to it and you can't even tell where i started or ended now before i attach uh, anything else uh, to my um canister if you are giving this as a gift, I definitely recommend fully finishing this with a lined inside and the bottom. You know, just cut a little circle and put it down in the bottom with some glue. I'm just going to glue the bottom of my can uh, with some hot glue so it can be used on any surface in my house. I wouldn't have to worry about it, you know, scratching a table or anything like that. Any delicate surfaces if I put it on glass or whatever. So I'm just cutting that to size. And then here are the Dollar Tree ties. I'm just going to twist two of them together. And I'm going to hot glue around the bottom. You don't have to do that. You can just wrap it around and leave it as is. But for the bottom portion, I'm actually going to glue my um, 
my <laughs> garland tie around it. And again, this is completely up to you. You don't have to do this. You can use burlap ribbon. You can use some beads. You can use whatever you would like. You know, you could use a, a thicker garland or several. That's completely up to you what you want to create for the base of this. And of course, you can expand it if you'd like. Put this on top of something else and create a riser. The, the Again, possibilities are endless with these canisters. This is perfect size for a lot of floral arrangements. But for my particular purposes, I'm going to be showing you uh, just some different options that you can do. Of course, here you have ribbons that you can put around, but you don't even have to glue the, the uh, twist ties on. They're tight. These garland ties are perfect. You can just twist them into like a, reed, a really tight reed form and connect them that way. And that's it. That's pretty much the end of my DIY. So you're going to see some options that I, you know, I'm showing you, but that's all you need to do for upcycling this. Do whatever you wish with it. I love how this turned out. I mean, I can just lay it down and it's decor. So first, I'm just going to say thank you to Fanny from Creations by Favi and uh, Michelle's Cozy Home for this fun collaboration. I will link both of our hostesses' channel below in the description box. And here, I just wanted to say, if you were going to give this as a gift to someone with like the pot holders, instead of putting styrofoam, you know, put in some cookie mix or something in the bottom. And then there you have it. So that's just another option for you. Um, of how you want to display it or if you just want to put florals or a Christmas tree again completely up to you so the links from our, our hostess channels will be in the description box as well as a playlist so that you can check out all the other upcycling projects that our YouTube creators have come up with I can't wait to see what everyone's made again thank you ladies and thank you everyone for watching for liking please hit that like button for subscribing i want to know what i should be you know focusing on should i create more diys what do you like to see hit that like button so i know thank you everyone have a wonderful day bye